This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about Pat because one of the first things he's going to have to overcome to be an American wrestling star is he doesn't speak English, and well, what he does speak is not very good. But allegedly, he learned a lot from watching television, and of all things, he credits The Price is Right to learning how to speak English. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's funny. And when you listen to people that come to the country that don't speak English, and, and they do learn. They learn from television or they learn from radio without ever really understanding. And people go back and... and I know we've kind of skipped over Pat's childhood and everything, but Pat grew up in a very, very poor family and he went to Catholic school and he had several brothers and sisters that they didn't have showers and they didn't have a, a bathtub where they lived. There was a toilet at the end of the hall, but, they had to go down to like a, a, a shower house and, and a bathhouse type thing. His sisters would go to one and then he and his brothers would go to another one. And for the whole family, this is including his mother, his father, I think two or three sisters and his brothers, they had one bar of soap. And one would go in and wash and then they would come out and they would give the other uh, the bar of soap. And you had to protect that bar of soap. And it had to last at least a week. So it's, you know, it wasn't something that Pat was born with a silver spoon in his mouth or anything. He, he grew up uh, hard times in, in a family that was very poor and against all odds succeeded and was able to come out of that and make it in an entertainment industry in a foreign country that uh he made his way in which i think is pretty cool when you when you think of those hardships he wrote in his book that he spent his first week in boston and he didn't speak any english so he winds up eating the same thing every day hamburger steak because he had no idea what everything else was i think sometimes we take that for granted that when guys come over here who don't speak the language or maybe an American goes over yonder, as we say down South, you're way out of sorts. You're by yourself. You're trying to just figure it out. <laughs> wound up eating a lot of hamburger steak. Exactly. And you know, if he pointed a lot too, which is when, when you would have someone come over from a foreign country, you know, like the Japanese talent or the French talent, German talent. A lot of times they liked Denny's. You know why? Denny's always had a picture on the menu. Mm. So they could look, they could look at the menu and they could point and they saw the picture and no, you know, I want that. And as you know, kind of like the, the fast food chains, what the picture is on the menu isn't always exactly what you get, but up until the day that he died, Pat loved his hamburger steak. I like that. I like when you're cracking one open. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.